All right, here we go. Starting episode two, Starved for Help. She looks terrified. Are they in the showers? Where, where are they? All right, so episode two. We're going to be starving in this episode, apparently. wonder if there's going to be a time skip or something. Yep, knew it. Three months later. Kill him. There we go. That's a great start. Damn. Who's... What Who's that? This time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, okay, so he took the man. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. <sighs> Not enough. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's going to be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He won't abandon Kenny us. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. How is that conversation not ar arisen in three months? Maybe that's just the way he is, but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Fair enough. Do it then. Ah, for f Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! You missed! Ah! Oh, bear trap. Jesus Ow. Christ. Oh, shit! No, no! Please don't kill us! We just want to help our teacher! We'll leave, I swear! Lee! You guys okay? Get, get it off! Get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis, maybe they can help! These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that! What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man! It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to me, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Can't chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up! Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please! Ben, shut up! My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. I gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Uh-oh. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. How do you get something and just prior into it, Shit. like? Walkers! It's now or never leave. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! This is bad. Really bad. Please hurry! Just get me out, please! All that blood just screaming! Please, do something! Gonna be any minute! Please! Okay, get okay, okay, okay! I'll use the axe! Oh no! No! No, no! Gotta 
Jin, no, 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 that's not Try what I mean. Again. That's not what I mean. Please. Don't do that. Leave her. Ah, shit. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, my God, again. Ah. Oh, my God, it's the brother's neck all over again. Ah. Ah. Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg. Yeah, for God's sake. Have time for that. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Is he... He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we Travis! gotta move! Travis! That's why you should have stayed in class, Travis! No! Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice opening. <laughs> Episode 2, Starved for Help. Oh, look, it's Larry, the angry person. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, stop with that. I'm wrecking my head. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll oh. see what I can do. Clem. Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! Uh, I don't know. Lee! What Watch the hell? You problem. can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What no, you I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Oh my god. Um, you could at least say oh, thanks, like... Fine. You guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I. Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to oh, think she wants to distract them and get them away from we there. We can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't ah. matter who's in charge. Both Shit. people are here now. I panicked. I was listening to her. have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah, go help Mark with the wall, Larry. You think this is Asshole. easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. 
There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. What is it? It's like a bit of an apple? Oh my god. I don't know, it's like Lunchables? What are they? Cheese sticks? That's it! All for me, please. <laughs> How the hell are you supposed to divide that out? Okay, so now we have to walk around and ration food, it seems. Um, I'm gonna see how this poor guy's doing. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Okay. Sure. What do you need? I don't know Just why I was trying to give her food there, but you know. To close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay, um, so did I waste food on her now? Yeah, I think I did. Um, she didn't even eat it, so that's great. Uh, well, I'm just gonna... Oh. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Okay, so... Who looks like they need food? Uh... Alright, Kenny. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. Oh. Oh no, I'm so tempted. I don't actually get a timer for this one, which is nice. The coast does sound like a smart idea. You should stay here. I mean, staying here just seems like a bad idea. I'm gonna go with this one. Coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. You taking me with you though, yeah? Do I give Kenny food? No, I'm gonna give it to the kids. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Half an apple, piece of jerky, crackers and cheese. Crackers and cheese. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Oh, the kids need to eat. God damn it. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Um, I'm going to give you an half an... Uh, uh, half an apple. Here. Delicious. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? No. What do you think, Duck? No. Probably not. This poor kid's probably starving. Look at the size of him. You need to eat. Want something to eat? I'll give you a piece of jerky. Your camp got raided probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Uh oh. I'm gonna save it for someone else. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Right, who am I gonna give it to? Do we give it to her? I'll talk to her first. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Here. I'm gonna give it to her. She's done a lot. I don't want anything from you. Just take the freaking food, will ya? Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. I don't care. Honestly, I don't. 
Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before- Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Hell yeah! I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? Oh, God. There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. Okay. Let's go over this way. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. All right, let's talk to him. Hey, Mark. That's you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I just hope Kanja can save him. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I said no, Larry. I'm giving it to Mark, not Larry. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No! Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm so he's dead. sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go. Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. So he's That's dead. The man you brought. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What well, I mean, you cut off his leg, Lee, for feck's sake. Ah! Ah! What the fuck? Ah! Ah! No! 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 What the shit? Give me the axe, goddammit! Ah! Oh, I'm stuck! Shit, it's stuck! Yep, how? Get it! Get him on my! You. Ah, what do you mean? Ah. Again, ready now. Shoot it! You okay? Yeah. Thanks. God, I hate the way Q was the letter. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. 
It's gonna happen to all of us. Oh, shit. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Who's this Whoa, now? lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We Are you armed? Yeah, F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Oh, Our see Larry's face. On gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. They need food. You need food. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of why our did, generators. Why did I power. say I decided everyone go? I, I so decided everybody dairy, to go. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Lily's way of running things is smart. It's not easy, but it's keeping us alive. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? <sighs> now is not the time. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh, the motoring is my home now. Now I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Oh, Lily is. Lily she runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival. They're asking a lot of questions. To some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, asking a lot of questions. All out to the dairy. Like it's I so said, so if you ask me. Food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Huh? Shut it down. Who's this? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? 
Those look like the people who Calm raided down. my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! You oh, knew we were hungry, people. and you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Oh no, there's yeah, you no. Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh shit! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Just killed him without hesitating. What an asshole! Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 bolts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Lily. He's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. I might as well keep it consistent with Lily. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. I just, I It'd just don't nice to have some trust to what's going on here. here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the, the trip walk over on there? Danny? I'd want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh, let's make sure it's safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. 
My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Shoe pocket. Everything in here looks safe. And now I know where to find some rope in case they need help tying anything down. A swing. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Okay, sure. We know where the rope is. Let's see if we can find the board. Oh, here we go. This is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah. Go right ahead. There we go. Now, we have a board. It's gonna put it in my back pocket. I got some deep pockets, it seems. I got the rope, I got the board. Let's fix it. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Go talk to this lad. Oh, what's over here? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mm, I'm not too sure about that. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay, if we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be <laughs> such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? <sighs> I'll try to be civil. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. There's an arrow on his neck. Lee, it's dead. 
Come on, let's push it off. Andy said, when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Looks like he's stuck. For God's sake. Get the arrow out of his head, Dane! Disgusting. Oh, look. Looks like he's no longer stuck. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart. Just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. Oh no, it's stuck. <clears throat> Is this your solution to everything, Lee? <clears throat> you never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. Can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Fucking Q, man. I hate where Q is. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah. Oh! Ah. oh what the? Get to the gate. Whoa, 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 who's this? Oh, it's the bandits. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Come on out. Don't get shot in the head. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Oh, God. Oh, God. We're not your enemy. Hurry up. Over there. Hurry down, one of you. I see ya. Did you really think you'd fuck with us? You fuck with us. Now we'll take what we Put want. Put on arrangement. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back room. to the house. Ah. They're on the move. Shit, that hurts. Oh, God. Now we're gonna take what's No, you won't. No, you won't. You assholes! Oh no, this body's gonna stop the tractor. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move. I got you now. Over there! Where do you think you're going? Watch it! You Another one? Asshole. How many of those things did we push down? Um, two the last time I checked. For God's sake. <laughs> ah! Ah! Can't get in the face! I'm still alive! I thought a fence was supposed to kill them. Oh God! We had the ring! You okay? 
Yeah. Fair. Come on. The gate's right there. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna get shot. I'm gonna get shot. Whoa. Where's the gate? Yes. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. This place is supposed to be safe. Damn ambush out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? Uh, bandits here on our property? Oh uh, my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey y'all! Mark, oh my God, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Kenny. Are you gonna oh, be hey, okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're going to let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Or those two talking about it. Hmm. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right, provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around, and let me know if you find anything else. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. I thought I was going to pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's in the past, Kenny. A lot's happened since then. Yeah, right. What the f- what the f- You were there to save your own goddamn kids! I barely knew you at the time, asshole! What- What was not expecting that, bro? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. 
I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. I'm, I'm still, like, shook it after that comment. Like, what the freak? Herschel's farm, bro? Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Nobody clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? We don't know whose camp this is. Might not be bandits. It must be. They don't share their neighborhood. Oh, what was that? Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Oh? What's that? What do you find? A video camera. L let me see that. Uh-oh. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running mm. things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Why did he say good when he figured out the battery's dead? Uh-huh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Let me tell you that now. Oh, man. I was the kid staying here, wasn't there? 
Oh no. Jesus. There's a kid mixed up in this? Was more like. Clementine's hot? Don't fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. The fuck she said she stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on, tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! Who shot her? God damn it! Oh, he did! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. And Daryl Dixon was born. What the hell was she? Was, what was she talking about? Oh my god! I knew I should have been suspicious. I was suspicious from the beginning. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver.
What was that woman doing with Clementine's hat? It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. So that's the actual cow, then. Whoa. Katja says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, <laughs> it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Uh -huh. Duty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she remembers. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long Music time. Music just stopped for some well, reason. Thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. A salt lick. I want to play in the hay. Where the hell did you come from, Doc? Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I want to play in the hay. I want to play in the hay. Oh, for God's sake, Doc off! Bet sure this is locked. Hmm. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> you are, uh, you what? know, urban. See those screws? <laughs> Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? <laughs> Just checking out the barn. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just 
you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. <laughs> I can't believe Kenny said that, bro. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Distract Andy to get him out of iron. Got a screwdriver. <laughs> Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. We're gonna do this now? Oh, this is, this is bad. Come on, Kenny, let's do this shit. False alarm. I'm back. What the freak? You only got about two seconds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Seriously, I Larry? Voice to help out. I couldn't do it without it. Flirting? Oh. I see a toolbox. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's gotta be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? You know, you could do something, Kenny. Especially after that remark. Right, let me just go fuck with this generator, so. It's just gonna turn it off. Oh, no. Yeah, hang on. Why did the switch turn off? Alright, let's cram this in here. Ow, damn it. The thing is moving fast. Okay. Ow, damn it. Thing is moving fast. Did you just put your finger in it? Use the tool, moron. Ow, damn it. Thing is moving fast. Oh, it turned it off no, first then. Oh my god. Now. What the hell? There. That should do it. <laughs> Find this piece of shit. Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, dog. Oh, son of a fuck. <laughs> oh no, what happened to the generator? Oh no. Mom, Dad, dinner time. It's dinner time. Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad, Dad, come on, let's eat. Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Keep that thing off. Oh, yeah. Leave the urban man to do it. That's all. Three turns. That's it. <laughs> oh, it's never that easy. Uh oh. Dinner time. Oh. Why, why is... Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. I mean, fair enough. Oh, Excuse boy. me, miss. We had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. Now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I can eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Oh, Mark didn't get cooked, did he? We're not gonna eat Mark, are we? Oh, God.
Wait a minute. What? Who they need so much morphine for? I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Candles. Smart. Musty as hell. Ugh. What is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Huh, where is that cord going? What's this? Or not? What the hell? What's back there? Oh no, where the hell is... Where the hell is Mark? Hey, it was Mark. But Brenda said he was up here resting. Oh no. Oh no. has made you a meal. Off yeah, I Lee, clicked it. into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's what crazy. The hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. We need to get the kids and everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. They're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. He was just shot in the shoulder with an arrow. Like he was gonna leave. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking out of here! Near my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! Lee! Lee! Oh, no, 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 I don't like this. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Oh, God. Mark? Did Mark crawl down the stairs? Person, I ate meat from a person. D 
Does that mean I'm gonna turn into... No, no Clem, it, it, it doesn't work like that. If he would have stopped us in time! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. Every time okay, we go back, Clementine. oh, it doesn't click. It's so annoying. They didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Are you, Dolly? Because yeah. you haven't been exactly yeah. helpful. They got caught you a duck, Lee. Those fuckers have my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! There's more of us on the way! Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention. So I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? Refused to give me my day's rations back at the motor lodge. And you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! Open up, goddammit! I'm not your enemy, Larry. I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. They're not gonna open the door! I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, <laughs> easy! Oh, great timing. Oh, God. Dad? Now he's having a heart attack. Shit. No. Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! Good morning later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. You remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size! It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Oh my god, Lee. Will you just come fucking help? Come on. Lee! Is he breathing uh, at all? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn. What? You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch. Three. You're fucking four. worthless, Lee. What the fuck, Kenny? No! <laughs> Kenny, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. Oh just... my god. It had to be done. You don't what know the... that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. Bro! I was trying to Oh my I'm god. Sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> oh my god! Are you okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Someplace safe where no monsters can get you. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. 
Kenny, what the? I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. Look, if we're going to survive this shit, we got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. Look, I know it was Larry, but jeez, he didn't deserve to die like that. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> Okay, so how do we get out of here? There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Yes, of, of course. course. Shit. Maybe oh, there's damn. something else we could use. <laughs> I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Okay. It's not coming off that way. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here... We need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry. Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you oh, yeah. want? My blessing to loot his corpse? He has 60 Your cents, doesn't he? Permission. Do what you have to do. Okay. Sorry, oh, Larry. Boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? And a dime. I tell you, only needed a coin. Just rob a dead man, Lee. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Kenny! I thought I liked you. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. Oh my god. You, know you don't have to do this, right? Why does the pointer do that? I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. <sighs> okay. You're going to be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Kenny! What the? Kenny! 
Kitty, Let seriously, me. bro. Sorry. You're Gotta not go. helping yourself here, man. I just need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Okay, we might need a weapon. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Let me keep... No, no, I want that instead. Hell yeah. Taser. Oh, hell yeah. No. Hell yeah. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you going to do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. What's taking on? Oh, I'm so Finishing the damn thing first. Hey. What are you doing outside the barn? Oh, shit. Just guarding the place, like you said. Oh, sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. What's he doing? Out there? We can't I keep don't that many know. Ride and not expect trouble. Take one to keep and kill the rest. I'll keep an eye on it, but you'll be ready to act what I say. I can see what he's doing now. He won't meet on the tray. Uh, oh, tell me what's going on. This is my favorite part, too. He's inside. When I let one He's thing take him, just walk right out. <laughs> and never even look down. Wait, talk to me. Sick fucker thinks this is a game. See where he is at. I'm not so sure if I keep, should keep doing this. What's he doing? He's not there. I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. See where he is now. Why am I listening to you, Kenny? Oh! Shit! Uh, Kenny? Oh! Oh, God! Oh, shit! Thanks, Kenny. For nothing. No! Where the? Ah, you see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. That's why you killed that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fucking coward. Uh. Ah! This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you. Go. I'll cover you. Just stay here and keep Clementine safe. I'll be right back.
Oh oh. Oh look who's back! Carly! Lee? Ow! Shh! Is everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too long. They attacked us! I knew it! I told you we couldn't trust them! Shit! How many of them are there? Two left! Where? Larry's dead! They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us! Shit! <laughs> Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. That's a lot All of right. information. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? Her reaction was pretty really um, tame. Ben, stick close. <laughs> and Lee, be careful. Come on, hurry up, Lee. Hurry up. Oh, no. I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Set her down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? That is me. Oh, God. Ah, oh, crap. Let me go. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Stop right there. I mean it. Stop! What do I do? Here, I got some I got some spare change. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Oh. Look. Stay back. any worse. Oh god. Oh, it's cute. Oh, it's cute. Okay. Andy, Andy. All right. So close. I can't do it with me left. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, that's what you get, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Ah, stupid. 
Son of a... Bitch! Break his nose! Oh my god! Lee, that's enough. <sighs> He's had enough. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you, you all fucked! <laughs> They're not coming. What do you mean? Lee? What the fuck do you mean? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Not worth it. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! They're getting in. Let's go. It's like typical Walking Dead storyline. They go, try to survive, find a safe haven. That safe haven gets useless after a while. Go to a new safe haven, wreck everything, and move on to the next. Hey, Lee. <laughs> I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended. But, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah. yeah. And Clementine ate some. Oh, it's my fault. I panicked and didn't stop her. My God. Does she know? She's not stupid, Connie. <sighs> oof is right. Big oof. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. That's because you don't know how to change the batteries. <laughs> how are you doing? I'll be Sorry. fine. I had I'm just to. not as young as I used to be. <laughs> Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. Oh, God. <clears throat> There's going to be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. Hmm. What do you think? You're no hero. You're no hero. You destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, you're not a bad man, but fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? We didn't kill them, so I don't know. They might have been able to get away from the walkers, but I'm sure they won't be coming after us. That's good. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God, not more strangers. A working car, anyway.
Hello? Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This, this is definitely could save all of us. a trap. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. Looks like Daddy. Daddy, what are you if thinking, they Daddy? Come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. But what if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. Clementine and I don't want any part of this. We're starving. Suit yourself. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay, what have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. She's good, thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. <laughs> Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? <laughs> Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. <clears throat> Shit. They've been spying on us this whole time. Chopped David's leg off. 44% of players chopped his leg off. Fair enough. Uh, shot Jolene. 61% at Danny Shearer. Uh, helped kill Larry. You and 51% of players didn't help. Uh, revenge. Killed both of St. John brothers. I love how 49% like, of people actually did help. It just goes to show how much people hated Larry. Uh, killed both of St. John brothers. Uh, you and 61% player percent of players didn't kill both brothers okay uh stole food from the car you and 49 percent so half half of you actually stole the car i mean yeah it's it's about survival but mm, 
Definitely was a better episode regarding the characters and their development and a little bit more consistent with the characters as well, which I I liked. There has been shifts with some of the characters and how they act when it comes to survival, which is obviously very normal when it comes to these survival situations. Kenny in particular kind of was a loose cannon in this episode and kind of dropped some things that were really kind of out of character that I thought at the time. I think it's him just showing his uh, true colors. And this episode definitely was a lot more intense than the previous one and a lot less kind of silly and goofy, um, I feel, which is nice. I thought Kenny and Lee had some sort of like brotherhood thing going on, but that's kind of gone tits up now. This is a really weird one to call, but I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing like where the story is actually going to go regarding the rest of the characters. I do think this episode in particular is much better than the first one, that's for sure. Definitely was a shift regarding the characters and the story, which I liked. And I'm looking forward to the next episode, which will be happening in in our next episode here on YouTube. So make sure you do leave a like on this video if you're enjoying the series so far. Comment down below your favorite moments throughout this series and um, subscribe for more, for sure. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome and be happy and I'll see you dudes in my next Walking Dead video. See you later, dudes.